On Anguilla, it's all about the beaches. All that beautiful white sand that brings you to the island does make it hard to grow great produce. But when you can find some local tomatoes, kale, and peppers, the combination of them will truly give you a tropical delight. So with Anguilla Beaches as our backdrop, we're going to make today Sea Cuisine Coconut Crusted Tilapia with a rice and kale stuffed tomato. So let's get started. We're going to start with a skillet or a large saute pan and we're going to put it on medium high heat. I'm going to add a little oil and then we're going to saute up some white onions. Once the onions start to sizzle and you can hear them cooking, we're going to add in our chorizo. And we're doing this because the chorizo contains a lot of good flavors in it. And as the onions cook, you want the onions to absorb some of the flavor for the chorizo so you have a great flavor throughout your dish. So this is gonna take about five minutes and we're just gonna let it go. So as you can see, as the chorizo cooks, it's releasing all of its flavor. And you can see that the onions themselves are starting to turn a little orange from the flavor that's coming out of them. So next, we want to add in some diced yellow and red bell pepper. You want to give them a good toss so it all cooks evenly and it's all well incorporated. We want to add in a little bit of jerk spice. Go with the non-salt and then just add a little salt in yourself like I'm doing. And like I've said many times, you always want to throw your dry spices and herbs into the saute as it's sauteing because you want the oil to soften up those spices so it makes it more palatable. So we'll let this go for just a minute. All right, and we're gonna throw in our kale. I'm using some kale that I lightly blanched because I couldn't find any frozen, but if you use frozen, it's already blanched for you and you can just add it right into your skillet. Oh yeah, that smells great and looks great too. And last, we're gonna add in our rice and a little bit a fresh lemon zest. Let's give this a little toss. I'll turn off my fire because this is ready to go. Now that I have my rice and kale stuffing prepared, let's go ahead and get the tomatoes ready. And I'm gonna do this by just cutting the top off of the tomato, a little bit more than that. Then with a large spoon, you just wanna take it and roll it around. Go a little deeper. You might get a little tomato juice. Could be a little sloppy, but that's all right. And there, it just pops out as such. You have a perfect vessel for the rice and kale stuffing. Now I want to take and stuff all of my tomatoes. All right, now I'm gonna pop them into the oven. Now I've preheated the oven to 450 and we're gonna let the tomatoes cook in there. Basically what we wanna do is wilt the tomato on the outside and make sure that the stuffing is hot all the way through. So we're gonna leave it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now that our stuffed tomatoes have been going for about 15 or 20 minutes, I wanna turn the oven down from 450 to 375 and get our Sequazine Coconut Crusted Tilapia Filets going. I left the tomatoes in the oven because I want them to continue to cook while our sequizine fillets are cooking as well. So it times out so that everything's hot out of the oven together. So it's been about a half hour, so our sequizine coconut crusted tilapia and those stuffed tomatoes should be done. So let's check in the oven. All right, so now let's just take it to the plate. that's all there is to it. So even if a trip to the beaches of Anguilla is not in your plans, you can still enjoy a taste of the islands with sea cuisine. Till next time, stay inspired.